this is a two-lap dash. Morrow leads the pass the white flag. The fuel light is reported blinking on Hornaday's truck. He's off one and down the short shoe. And Corelli's on the inside of the 24 truck of Sprague. Race for third. Corelli has it. Hornaday's truck continues to thunder. Rutman not able to do anything as they hit for the final turn. The checkered flag is in the air and Ron Hornaday has won the Chevy Truck Challenge in amazing fashion with Rutman second. Wow, what an afternoon. One lap to go for Rick Crawford. His only other top five finish was a third at the Texas Motor Speedway a year ago. Remember at the beginning of the telecast, we said, would Ford be able to do okay here? Because they hadn't tested here. Chevy had, Dodge had. Well, this is a Ford apparently heading to victory lane as they are dancing in the port city of Mobile, Alabama. Rick Crawford wins his first race on the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Sprague is second. Sauter goes third. Holding on to fourth is Biffle. Barfield will come across in fifth. Compton sixth. Keselowski will cross in seventh. Hornaday eighth. Then Resendiz ninth. And Scott Walters in tenth. Matt Yoakum, what a day for the Rick Crawford team. Man, 
So Hornaday, I guess, will simply come on around and uh, be ignored as he crosses the start finish, we assume, and the checker will fall on Rudman. A wild pass for position back there. Mark Simo takes another spot away from Randy Tozma. That team's going to have a great day here. Simo's got a shot at the top five as Bliss takes one more run at Tozma. There goes the leader by, and there's the checker falling on the 99 of Rudman. Hornaday did not get the checkered flag, and his position will be determined, I guess, by NASCAR's, NASCAR's decision. If he had got out of the draft, he's no longer out of it. He's less than a truck left behind our leader. Coming right to now. the white. Coming to the white. White flag is in the air. Chris Morgan displays the white. A mile and a half to settle it. off very clean, clean there clear, 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 clear. right over to the left and let him go as he head in for the last corner into turn three going around david Starr's truck as harvick makes the move on compton and grabs fourth but here comes tony reigns when the race is on tnn tony job, reigns Andy, is in job, victory Doug. lane guys, hard work we're gonna win this one tony hard reigns work, wins and indeed hard work does pay off for houston who finishes second but Kurt Warwick and the fellas are heading back to Victory Lane in the home state of their sponsor. He jumped off the corner for the white flag. White flag will fly this time by. And for Ron Hornaday, half a lap to home. Final lap to Bristol Motor Speedway. Driving away from Jack Sprague as expected. And Hornaday on his 40th birthday. Father's Day weekend claims the checkered flag at Bristol and wins his 20th career NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race. And now Mike Bliss, a mile away from giving Ford their first victory at this racetrack. Comfortable lead. He goes to the outside there, easy back into the preferred line around the bottom part of the racetrack. And the truck just up, doing nothing wrong but trying to win. Battling back from the injuries of Texas. Pretty much thinking what he's going to say in victory lane right about now. He says, I've led 91 miles and have done it in fashion. Mike Bliss of Milwaukee, Oregon, will post his fifth career win in the series. He wins the Milwaukee 200. Through watching and waiting, Hornaday, white flag. One lap from his 21st career Craftsman Truck Series victory. He has almost a four-second lead, so he can take it very easy here on this last lap. Stacy Compton works a little traffic as he gets underneath the 55 of Tony Roper. And Joe Rutman continues to pull away from the three truck. Jay Sauter, while Sauter has his hands full with Butch Miller. Here's Hornaday. Victory for Ron Hornaday. The Napa Brakes truck wins the Napa. Second, going to the 86 of Stacy Compton, and one truck is in the wall. Third place, Jack Sprague will not finish there. Unbelievable traffic jam as we come down to the side and here at the California Speedway. Can anybody do anything with Sprague, and how is this war going to end? White flag, last lap. I'm drafting. It has been an unbelievable day of truck racing, and now it's time to decide it. You're on board with Mike Bliss as we run the final lap. The final pass at the California Speedway. And we see Sprague trying to, as you said, disturb the air so that Ernie can't follow. Meanwhile, here they come. This is the battle for a sixth, seventh, eighth. A lot of positions going to be decided on the last lap. Ernie Irvin not able to make a run at him. Here is the gap, first to second. It's going to be a couple of truck lengths as they come to the strike. And Jack Sprague is going to win his second truck race of 1998. They all kind of single file it into position as they cross the strike. Nobody ran out of fuel. And thank you for that. It was decided on the racetrack. And the MMA was exciting. 200 miles in the four-year history of the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. It'll be white flag this time for Ron Hornaday. 
Hornaday like a bullet. He just jumped out there about 15 truck left lead, but they're fighting back here for position like crazy behind him. You can see that Mike West was down on the inside trying to make a pass for the seventh position. He's still coming. He's got Stacy Compton right there coming into view. That'll be for sixth place. Finally, the checkered flag will come out, and Ron Hornaday will have it in his windshield as he comes off turn number four. 22nd career NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series win. Ron Hornaday. Tony Raines for second. Joe Rutten for third. Rick Corelli for a season high fourth. Jimmy Hensley is fifth. Mike Bliss comes all the way to sixth. Ahead of Stacy Compton, Dennis Setzer, Randy Tolsma, and Tony Roper finishes in 10th. Here comes Jack Sprague for the white flag. Jack Sprague looking for his fifth victory of the year, which will tie Hornaday in terms of wins on the 1998 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Tour. More importantly, he will take over the championship point lead. Great run for Roper with the strategy of staying out on that critical caution that put six trucks in front of what had been the leaders all race. Sets are scrambling for a position. It's over. Sprague has won it. There's the crew celebrating as Jack Sprague reassumes his position at the top of the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series Championship. Little pyrotechnics at the end from the rookie Wayne Anderson. Houston's tires are 17 laps. Oh, Biffle's, Biffle's in the wall. wall. Biffle is in the wall. White flag. Whoever gets around is going to win it. Biffle ahead of Houston. This is for the win Here comes, turn one. Here comes Houston. They make contact coming off turn two. They pull even. Rutman is running third. Remember, if these two guys crash Look each other, they're beating and banging all the way down the back straightaway into turn three. Biffle has the advantage there. Get the photo finish. Oh, everybody. Biffle gets, gets him loose. out of the way. Houston takes the low side. Andy Houston is going to wham a win here. Andy Houston <laughs> what wins. A, what a laugh. In what New a Hampshire. Laugh. Oh, my. Rick ran Tommy Houston, the whole crew. He started eighth and picks up his first win in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Riding with Tony Raines, and the white flag is in the air. One more time around for Terry Cook as he works back off into the corner. There is Cook. Smooth as ever right now. He's just kind of holding. He has enough lead on the second place of Hornaday that he's not messing with the lap traffic at all. Two weeks in a row, a first-time winner on the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series, Terry Cook, the driver from Ohio. In his 34th career start, picks up a victory on the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series and gets the salute from Ron Hornaday, and look at that emotion. White flag, white flag, one more half mile to go for Jimmy Hensley. Meanwhile, Crawford gets inside of Wallace for third. Biffle will take fourth. Wallace now back in fifth, ahead of Tolsma in sixth. But up front, the scramble is behind him. Jimmy Hensley, the Virginia gentleman, is another first-time winner in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Three weeks in a row here on TNN Motorsports. From Andy Houston to Terry Cook, now Jimmy Hensley, a first-time winner on the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. They're coming to the drag strip for the final time. They'll keep the white flag this time by. We one more time by as they take the white this time. Well, they said they could catch Compton. If they're going to do it, they had to talk it part time and not doing much on the racetrack with him. Stacy Compton won earlier this year on a short track. That's his background. Here goes Hensley trying to beat Cook to the outside for second. He faded to the outside to get him uh, looking in the mirror, but he didn't fall for it. Second place, Terry Cook did a very masterful job of protecting his line there. Now up through here is where the Dodge is supposed to be really strong. This is good news for Stacy Compton right here, seeing these guys battle about seven more turns for him. You know, if I'm his crew chief, I'm saying, Stacy, run your race, hit your marks, be smooth. Drive it straight up off that corners. Don't overdrive the corners. I heard you say that a many a time. Had to do that about 79 times at Watkins Glen about two weeks ago. <laughs> Here comes Stacy Compton. Last set of corners here. 
got to be patient in this business. Stacy Compton won on April the 25th on the short track of Portland, Oregon. Hensley right under Cook as they go in the corner, tried to get him, but he didn't get him. But here in Topeka, Kansas, Stacy Compton becomes a repeat winner on the tour and a first-time road racing winner in his fifth try. Look at him flanking out behind him, trying to pick up positions. Stacy Compton's going to enjoy an RC Cola when this one is done, Matt Yoakum. White flag falls on Tony Raines, the final lap at Louisville Motor Speedway, the last of 225 turns around this tricky oval will be led by the yellow oh, yeah, Tony, oh, Ford, yeah. Ford, checkered flag falls, celebration time. may have something for Ernie as Ernie gets a little loose. That'll be for second as Frank leads him down looking for his fourth win of the season. Jack Sprague becomes your championship point leader and wins. The Virginia is for Lovers 200. For sixth spot, their nose to tail across the stripe. Bickle's going to hold off Corelli to get that spot. Holy in the middle of that. And Butch Miller will get a fifth place run tonight. Wow. What right about that for Butch Miller? Out of boy. The white will fly this time by, and it'll fly on the former series champion Ron Hornaday, pursued by Sauter, chased by Hensley, then by Rutman and Crawford. That's your top five. They single file it into the last lap, and I'm not sure anybody's got anything for them with a half a mile to go. Ron Hornaday into turn three for the final time. Brings the Napa Chevrolet sideways across the finish line to win it. Sauter for second. Good job. In the air is going to be the white flag for Rick Corelli. But Ron Hornaday is there just two truck lengths back as they go into turn one for the final time. Hornaday inside. Not quite there. Corelli pulls him down the back straightaway. One more corner. Jay Sauter is close. If either driver misses up, Sauter will be right there. Final turn. Final lap. Hornaday right to the bumper trying to loosen up Rick Corelli, and he slides up the hill. He drove it in a little extra deep to get on that bumper, and that uh, cost him exit in the corner. Looks like Corelli's going to be able to hold him off and get that long deserved victory. Rick Corelli scores his first win of the season and the second of his Craftsman Truck Series career. Sauter's left is a little fresher, and that looks like very good strategy as he takes the white flag, one to go. Hornaday is going to have his hands full, perhaps, as uh, Compton and Bickle come after him with a half lap to go. Is that time to make a move? It'll be tough. I think Hornaday should be able to hang on from there to third place. But here is the winner, ladies and gentlemen. Jay Sauter brings the good wrench Chevy home a victor, the ninth different winner in as many races on the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. And just at the moment, when they were talking about the possibility that he might not be back in that truck next year, he pulls off his first win of 1998, his second career victory win in his 57 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series start. Let's go track side. Sand has the indication one lap to go as he stretches that lead out to five and three quarter seconds over Mike Bliss. He's road raced about everything imaginable. Had a very successful stint with the BMW team. One of their touring cars. Drove for Jack Roush for a while in Trans Am. When Ernie Urban went looking for a new truck racer two years ago, he said, let's give Boris a try. Boris, of course, connected with no fear. Interesting mix of people in that team. They've dominated here today. It's finally going to pay off for them. The Sauter Norick battle continuing here. Seventh and eighth positions. A great run for Lance Norick. Even if, if Jay Sauter even gets by, it was still a great run for him. And to finish top 10 today is very impressive indeed. Lance Norick came from 28th starting spot with a combination of smart driving and good pit work. Down for the final time into the heartbreaking section of the racetrack, Boris said. 
makes the turn and heads for home. The checkered flag awaits. It is over, and Boris has won it, and the battle will be for second spot. Bliss, I believe, is going to be able to hold off range. We'll take a look. Yeah, Tony could get to close to him. A couple of free truck lengths the difference there. How about you guys? White flag and one to go. One more lap. Dennis Setzer. I kind of think you'll see Dennis win a few more races. Bob gets Bob gets. Ooh. So far. Compton. Through one. On Sprague and turned him in turn two. Or are they going to make a dive on the outside in the final lap? That's not going to work. Just Fine. can't get the grip. It's a win. That's her win. Good for him. It's a win for Dodge. It is a win for Dennis. Jack Sprague, I think he just gained 10 points on Ron Hornaday. 33-year-old from Milwaukee, Oregon, comes down to the stripe. White flag is in the air. Final lap for Mike Bliss, seeking his second win of the 1998 season as they mix it up for spots behind him. Chuck Bowen and Rick Crawford for 16th and 17th. And that is a race for position here on this final lap. Half a mile to go. with Mike Bliss as he comes off turn four looking for the checkered flag atop the starter stand. Yeah. You're the man, Hammer! You are the man! You are the man! <laughs> <laughs> Mike Bliss wins at Phoenix. Second victory of the 1998 NASCAR Crashman Truck Great Series job, season. Great job. Sixth overall. And Team ASE will celebrate in the winner's circle at Phoenix turn International turn, Raceway this afternoon. Through turn two, Biffle staying down low. Oh, he wiggles. Big wiggle. He lost some of the air. Sprague, that little wiggle might have caused him to lift if he did. Sprague will be. Here comes Hornaday under Rutman. Hornaday underneath Rutman for third. So now Sprague must win this race. And it won't make any difference. If he does, he's going to have to get by. And he's trying. He's trying to take the spoiler. Oh, he doesn't. He gets underneath Biffle right now. Jack Sprague. Oh, it's on tech. Sprague holds on to the spot. He's got a big donut. One lap to go. And up in the gray. He's up there throwing a lot of marbles. Right now, Hornaday down. Hornaday can win this race. Hornaday into second. That would clinch the championship for Ron. Sprague. And then they're going to make the run with a big speed as he comes up the racetrack. A huge crash. Ball. Big crash in turn number two. But they will race to the checkered flag because it is behind them. So it is now up to Jack Sprague. He has to hope that Ron Hornaday spins it out. All Hornaday has to do is stay right where he is. It's going to be Sprague's victory. It's over. This thing's over. This is exactly what they had to do. Ron, Ron Hornaday wins the champion. Sprague wins the race. Sprague wins the race, but Ron Hornaday wins the championship. Listen to that crew. Oh, me. Third place will go to Greg Biffle. The two of them salute each other. No one could have written a script better than this. Jack Sprague did everything he had to. Woo. Ron Hornaday matched him toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Beautiful got into Sprague. I don't know how he saved that truck. He did. It was a big hit. Fantastic ending to a great year. As heavyweight championship fights go. Look at this. Side by side for the fan. That was probably the best heavyweight title fight you could ever dream of. And the emotions. As you see the banner, 1998, our first two-time Craftsman Truck Series champion, and the name on the trophy uh -oh, will here. be down Ron Hornaday. Jack Sprague making his way down onto the infield turf. Right so on. is Ron Hornaday. The two trucks coming side by side, perhaps, here. Look at this. Well, they're both right there past the victory. Uh, what a show of sportsmanship. <laughs> High five each other. The two of them. Uh oh. No. <laughs> Here we go. And the victory donuts for both of them, and they have both are dead. Let's go to Gary Gerald with a man who's got to be just welling with emotion. Man, I tell you, this is.